What is happening, all you mechanical maniacs? Hers Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Rot to Rad. How you guys doing? I hope this video is finding you all happy and healthy out there. Uh, I've been really busy here in the gaming world for Hers Quasar. I've been doing all kinds of craziness. And um, today is, oh my gosh, look at this. Random event out here. Look at this crash car. We've got a crash car out here. He's in bad shape. I, I mean, I could take the stuff off of it. It's a Cooper. Um, but, whoa, easy there, bro. Um, but I'm not going to do that. It, <laughs> very random events. It's part of the QOL mod, if you guys don't already have that. I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people ask questions. I've got some videos on here, um, showing you how to install it, uh, showing you some of the benefits of it, uh, showing you some of the stuff from the TK aftermarket parts. So a lot of that stuff, when you're, when we're doing some of this stuff, um, we are um, doing a lot of aftermarket stuff for the TK mod. And if you look underneath here, uh, that chrome differential cover, that's part of it. All right. Um, some rear end stuff. Yeah. So yeah, if you see me doing some stuff, you're like, where is he coming up with this stuff? It's a QOL mod. I only run like two mods. QOL mod. And it is the TK aftermarket parts mod. Those are the only two mods that I run off of... Uh, Nexus mods. So if you like them, download them. Got a tutorial on how to install them, so follow it closely and um, you shouldn't have any problems. But back to the series, Rot Rad. Um, this bad boy right here was one I put together last episode. I really thought it wasn't going to um, garner a lot of uh, a lot of comments. Um, however, well, I figured it would garner a lot of negative comments how's that um however all the comments eh, for the most part were pretty positive so um honestly this black baby um gets to go to the parking area so that's what rot to rat is all about i build a car from the junkyard i bring it back here i try to make it into something a little more radical and then you as my viewer gets to vote on it you get to vote on it so um, that is the awesome part of it. Now, this little hot rod right here, I actually, um, you know, I wasn't going to do much with it, but this is going to be like a, a side project. And, uh, when I found out this thing was white, when I was looking at it a little bit closer and said it was white, I was like, you know what? That might be really cool for a, uh, um, for just a project that has less miles in it. I could put the blower engine in it. Uh, and this is going to be just something, just uh, a little crazy. Uh, just a little something a little on the side. Um, nothing you know, too spectacular. It's just this is going to be um, just something that we tweak on every once in a while. And uh, actually, I just get rid of this this, uh, this bumper right here. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. I, I love the, the, that raked look right there. I really don't like the rear bumper either. So all that stuff is going to go away. I'm not even going to put it back on, to be honest with you. So we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to get rid of it. Now, for Rot to Rad, we get to go out to the junkyard. So you know what? We need to do that. So let's go out to the junkyard, see what we can find. And bring back something that we can make into something. And eh, some more radical. All right, trying to find something out here might be a little treacherous. So watch your step, okay? Uh, one thing we want to do is try to find something that's under 150,000 miles and something that we have not done before. Um, the Atom 330 is 44,000 miles. Swear to God, this would be the very first electric car I have done for uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. The first ever. Okay. Um, it is considered current color of red, so I couldn't keep it red. So this might be, you know, as Tesla wannabe, uh, a, a contender of what we can do. All right. I have never done one, so it would be very painful for me to put this together. But it is a contender. What do we have over here? Uh, we have a petty stock car at 194,000 miles. I like to keep it under 150. That's just one of the, one of the uh, criteria that I have. That just keeps it interesting, right? Uh, we have done one of these. This is a 68. This is a Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. We have done one of those before, so it's not really a big deal. 
Uh, we have a hot rod sitting in our shop right now. Uh, this is a Fury Del uh, Delray Custom at 205. No, we're not going to do that either. Looks like another <laughs> another stock car over here. It seems like we're plentiful with the stock cars at 204. Okay. Um, truck we've done. This is the Ford. Yeah, this is a Ford Raptor at 67. Um, let's see. We have done the Honda S2000 at 95. We have done one of those. Um, this is the Austin Martin Vantage at 17. 17. Wait, did I say that right? 17,000 miles. We have done this before. Man, that's some little miles for the car being in this junkyard. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Um, the 300 SL we have done, but it's at 219. Yes, the uh, Evolution X done that as well. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to go back. Okay, this is the Rally Ford Escort. Uh, we have done a Ford Escort and a Moonhawk before, so not a big deal. Christine, we do have, we have done. Uh, this is 255,000 miles, so we're not going to even touch that. Um, Volvo Station Wagon, we've done 173. That's a GL model. Volkswagen and this is a Subaru BRZ we've done one of those or a variant thereof uh, also the DeLorean uh, another Roadrunner man these G uh, okay, 134,000 not bad not bad at all but yeah it's not uh, something that we're going to do uh, make believe Corvette standard 113,000 miles for the R2 uh, Mustang over there uh, this is another uh, Auto Tutu, Tuto, Lavtino, have no idea. Uh, electric car, another electric car I have not done. Uh, Mustang, I have not done this, this is a GT at 147. But man, the, uh, the other electric car over there, uh, Sakura Tech Umi. All right, so I think think well this is the drift car nissan skyline at 151 Ooh, just just right over so i guess this one right here and i swear to you i've never done an electric car before this is uh, this is going to be very interesting for me uh i'm going to go ahead and buy it it's very overpriced look at that uh 10k for it and it's only yes it's value at only eight really wow Makes me not want to buy it, but we're going to go ahead and give this thing a shot. Uh, we'll take it back into the uh, garage and see what we do with it. I mean, come on. Um, let's go green, right? Let's go green. All right, let's, let's go take a look and see what we can do with this uh, radical car. All right, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at what we brought into our garage. We're going to go ahead and strip her down because I don't need any of this stuff to get washed. It's all extra stuff, right? Um, door panels. Uh, looks like everything. Oh, headlights. Get rid of the headlights. Man, this thing is like, woohoo. All right, so we're going to move her back to the car wash area. Now, when I told you this is going to be my first ever i do mean ever electric car i truly mean it i have not built one of these before and i don't know what the reason is i just i'm a gas guy you know i'm i'm a com internal combustion engine guy right i just don't i'm not i just don't um take to these things very well so when it comes to this stuff i am like okay how am i going to put it together I have no idea. Um, <laughs> look at that. Look at, look at that. I love the screen. Love the screen on. Um, oh. uh, but I have looked into, you know, a lot of electric cars. One in particular that I was kind of fascinated with was um, one of them called Fisker. If you looked it up, Fisker's got some. Um, he, like, failed um, the first go-round, right? Um, but he's got some stuff going on right now, and I, I'm kind of interested in it. And actually, as a 
as, as an internal combustion kind of guy, I'm like, hey, uh, you know what? Maybe I need to give these a shot. Because, I mean, think about it. Are they making any cars these days? Hell no, they're not making any cars. What are they making? They are making... Uh, why is that two different colors? That's different. Um, why are they not making any cars, right? I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, they're not. It's all SUVs and trucks, at least around here anyway. I will say that. At least around here, that's all it is. So, um, I'm like, okay. Maybe, you know, in the near future, I will, I will probably end up being uh, an electric car guy. Honestly, I swear to you. Um, I'm not doing it, you know, just to be crazy, but uh, that steering wheel sucks. <laughs> I just, I'm here to tell you. Uh, um, we're going to go with something different with the steering wheel. Even though, you know, that's uh, it's electric steering wheel. Well, whatever. Um, we're going to go with something a little better. Um, actually, you know, it's still more 16 here. It looks a little better. Anyway. Um, <laughs> where was it? Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking, hey, you know, not a big deal. Um, I've, I've got, jeez. Oh, um, I've got a lot of neighbors that have electric cars. And I'm like, maybe it's time for me to bite the bullet sometimes. You know, maybe it's time. Um, but I don't know. What is your thoughts on electric cars? Um, my initial thought, honestly, is that Right now, we really don't have in the United States, we really don't have the structure, the infrastructure that's there for the electric cars. Electric cars, I, I hear them, you know, coming in and out, and they actually sound kind of cool. It reminds me of some sci fi movie. But, uh, um, um, what in the world? Why can't I take you out? Oh, take the bearing out first. First, come on. But uh, yeah, I would be interested in your take on the electric car. So let me know down below. We're going to take this thing apart. Um, we're going to see what we can do with it. And uh, we're going to get it all painted up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But I will be right back. And we will have all the pieces. And uh, we'll do something with it. All right? Catch you in a few. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you were thinking maybe I shouldn't have gone red with this, but yeah, I am going red with this. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to probably paint the car. The car is was originally red, so that's not going to be the big deal. Um, so it's going to be something that's going to complement the red. So it's black, white. Um, I could easily, easily, either easily do a, a, a yellow would complement this. Um, even though I don't like it, green is supposed to be a complimentary color. Um, not a big fan of that, to be honest with you. So I don't think it's going to go green. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. I do have, uh, see this, I, I did have the link. I, I, inst I actually did link A in the, um, when I got all the parts. I figured it was going to be link A. I was so wrong, so it's going to be link B. So I'm going to have to go back and redo that. I want to do this real quick to see what the brakes look like on here. So I am going to go with the Brembos. I always go with the Brembos. I love the Brembos from TK Aftermarket uh, mod. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It does look a little lighter than the rest of it, but that's okay, I think. I think that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's go. We have to go order couple of the um, all right we have to go get a couple of the B ones, B links right and then those are going to have to get painted so you come along with me I'm going to paint some some B links here uh, B link right here uh, with these I have to go no, I don't think I have to so you can go here um, go to paint everything and go to carbon or chrome plated and boom done right so we're going to do both those the same way okay here 
everything, go to chrome plated. Yep, and then paint. It's all part of the QOL mod. So now we've got the we've got the links kind of chromed up. You'll see what it looks like here. Um go. See, there we go. See, isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? A nice chrome look through there? Yeah, I think so. All right, and I'm also done the upper and lower control arms from the TK Aftermarket uh, mod as well. What do you mean I don't have it? Um, did I not have it on the other side too? Did I not buy two of these? Ah, oh, man, are you kidding me? I can't believe this. All right. My bad. Thought I had bought two. Guess not. Um, let's go here, here. Suspension. I need the lower control arm A. Uh, let's go ahead and paint that. Um, I've already got. I kind of got set up, so I go here. Uh, I go. No, I'm just gonna go here. Uh, go to everything. Uh, go to fully paintable one. Go back here and then select. That's all been set up for me. I, I set that up on a very first job that I did, the very first paint job I did. So yeah. So yeah, the car is not going to stay red because I can't keep it red. That's part of the Rot to Red rules is I cannot keep it its stock color. So I'm going to have to go with a different color altogether anyway. So I figured, hey, I'll just take the red and put it underneath the car. Sounds like a plan to me, right? Uh, kept the shock absorbers black with the yellow springs. It's always my signature. Our white, I usually go with the white as well. Um, I like the black underneath here because I've got the black uh, wheel hubs as well. So yeah, that's that's going to be a thing. So we can put that in there. Inlated discs, the cap, pads, and the Brembo's. All right, so for the most part, we've got the front end uh, pretty much taken care of, right? All right, now it's time to take a look and see what we got here. Um, wow, we do have those. So why aren't those, you know, I don't like... Upper suspension arm... I'm suspension arm A. I don't understand why it did not did not do that. All right, I have no idea. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get rid of them because we don't need them anymore. All the stuff we do. These two we don't. Uh, polyurethane bushings. Holy cow! Wait a minute. Uh, I'm sure we're missing them somewhere. Hmm. Ordered twelve. So why wouldn't I have? That's interesting. Kind of got me a uh, perplexed state. I don't understand that. All right. Um, so yeah, that's that. I guess I just need to go ahead and get rid of them because I don't need them. The rest of the stuff I'm gonna need for the rear casing. Um, looking at the car itself, uh, how can I do this? Um, I need ABS brake. I'm looking at all the stuff I'm going to need. Uh, PCUB. All right, so that's most of the stuff I'm going to need. Let's see what kind of stuff we can pick up in the uh, tune shop. Because for electric car, we want to make sure we got the, the most amount of horsepower out of it as possible, right? Right, so... Right, so we need to get the most out of it. So we are going to go in here. We are going to pick up that battery anyway. Um, that billet tray, we'll get two of those because we know we're going to need those anyway. Uh, let's open a shopping list. Um, get a battery tray, COB. Um, just go. ECUB, right?
Oh, it's in like Well, it's in. Okay. So let's get rid of that and just write E. C. U. B. So we're going to put a stage three in it. Definitely. All right, we're going to go back here. We're going to open the shopping list. We're going to go to A. Uh, crap. Um, one reservoir, check. Uh, brake servo, check. Uh, windshield wash reservoir, check. Uh, battery tray, we got. Radiator A, we need two of those. ECU B, ECU B we got. Uh, HBS pump. I need to go to electronics. Get that and get that. Uh, back here, we go with the radiator. Uh, I spelled that all wrong. Uh, I think it's a dual one. We're going to go two of those and two of those and two of those. All right. So we should be able to. Now, this is accessible through the engine compartment, right? Um, let's try to weasel our way up here uh, from the engine bay. So I've got to lower this down. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Usually I just skip over this part and you guys go, oh, okay, yeah, he, uh, he did that. But I wanted to show you what it actually takes to get, uh, get there. There we go. All right, so we're going to remove the battery tray. We're going to add brand new battery tray, brand new battery. I uh, don't have that crap piece, so yeah, that's going to be a thing. Uh, brake servo, coolant, ECU B, stage B. Get all the modules done. Get that tightened down. There we go. Um, so let's remove the radiator and let's install new radiators. And it's a single son of a gun. I thought for sure it was going to be a double. Um, man, I, I so missed that one. So two of those. So let's put two of those in there. I don't have the fan, of course, because the fan is totally different. So I need two of those. So I've got a bunch of spare parts. Good thing I'm not uh, counting my money on this, right? So yeah, okay, so I need that piece. So we'll go ahead and get in here. Open, get the bracket. I don't want to need one, but that's okay. When it breaks, I've got a spare. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be the primary battery, right? Uh, anything else up front here? It looks like the fuse box here. So we're going to get... Let's go into the electronics. We are going to get that fuse box, that cover... Uh, we're going to go three, three, two, uh, three, three, and I think four on that. I'm probably a little mistaken on that because it's been a while. And this is an electric motor driven car, but that doesn't really matter for the fuse box, right? It really doesn't matter. Uh, the fuse box should be the same, but you never know. Uh, I needed a B. I need another B. Ah. Uh, okay. okay so I need another B. Bam. And voila. Okay, so for the most part, the front end of this atom is done. Whew. Okay. So let's clear out some of the garbage I've got here that I don't need. Um, all the extra parts that I bought that I didn't need. There we go. All right. And now for the battery selection. 
got these batteries right here. Accessible from underneath the car. Okay. Like I said, uh, I, I haven't done an electric car, so this is going to be totally, totally new to me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, uh, battery pack. Uh, okay, so that one needs to be removed. Okay, so EV battery module. Looks like six EV battery module. All right. Not a problem. Let's see if that's in the tune shop. Hey, hey, look at that. They're expensive as hell. But I see there's like two across and three back, right? So I think it's six. So there, nope, it's three across. Wow. Okay, so we've got some pretty wicked stuff here. Um, I need three more of those bad boys. Um... So that should do as far as that is concerned. Woohoo! Yes. All right. Um, yeah, that goes away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to yank the engine out of here and get back, get at the rear end of this. And I'll be, I'll meet you guys back in a few minutes, okay? All right. I'll catch you in a few. Okay, guys. This has to be the weirdest engine I've ever put together, but here it is. Uh, I did a little bit in black, a little bit in red, a little bit of yellow. So we'll see how this thing comes together. All right. Uh, like I said, I've been telling you guys, I've been telling you guys that this is, this has been the very first engine that I've, electric, in, electric car that I've ever done in a car mechanic simulator. And you think I'm kidding. No, I'm not. By all means. Get that ah, doesn't look too bad in there, right? Doesn't look too bad. Uh, what is she missing? She's missing that gearbox. So let's take a look. Um, go into gearboxes here. I'm sure it's there to be there. Yep. And actually, what I want to do is probably chrome that bad boy up. I want it. I want it to chrome it. Um. All right, we're going to go here, normal. We're going to paint everything chrome. Now, I could go with a mixture of one. I don't see any other pieces or a mixture of two. What is that? Um, I went with a red. Okay, so some of the pieces are... All right, okay. Um, if I went with a three... And this is a four chrome with a little bit of red. Wait a minute, I think I'm going to go back with three. I think I'm going to go with a three. I like that. All right, so we're going to... Ooh, where are we going? Um, we're going to go with that. Uh, let's put you in there. I have not decided on wheels and tires yet, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a thing. Um, it's always a thing when it comes to me. Yeah, that looks really pretty underneath there. So I think we've got a pretty good setup. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. All right, we are going to get this rear ends done. And then we'll work on the rest of the engine. How's that? Uh, upper and lower control arms. We are going with the TK aftermarket arms as well. I'm always going to do that. Uh, I did not put my shock absorbers together, so that's going to be a thing. Uh, over here. Put those together real quick. I went with the simple black, yellow, and the chrome, like I did up front. So that matches everything, you know. So we got all that taken care of. That's in there. Going with the steel blackish cover. Keep that, keep that dust off the in, internals here. And I'll tell you what, this is actually, this could be a show car. I, I really believe this could be a show car. I mean, I've got a lot of money wrapped up into it. 
Look at this. Look at this. It's just, it's just freaking beautiful, right? But my first electric car, I guess, is Tesla wannabe. Uh, kind of fits the bill, doesn't it? All right, so we're going to get that. Shock absorber. Upper control arm. Control arms look much sportier than the regular ones do. So, yeah, that's why I kind of went with those. And again, is the TK aftermarket pieces is not coming with the game itself. I've noticed that I haven't been seeing my my videos on um, Playways uh, website as far as um, uh, our Red Dots Red Dots uh, store page on the stream. I think it's because I've been using the uh, TK mod an awful lot. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Let's go here. Uh, let's go see if that's going to be a tune piece or not. Pulling hose, I don't think so. Let me just get that. Get that in there. Okay, anything else that needs to be put in there? Yeah, okay. So all this stuff I am not even used to. Um, so I'm just going to get this a little bit at a time. Sure, there's more. Yeah, there's more to it. So, it's gonna be like a gray piece back here instead of black, but that's okay. I think we're gonna be all right with that. Okay, so we've got all that put together. We've got all that put together. I think we're in pretty good shape considering we need wheels and tires, and of course, we need to put the body together. So let's see here. We've got go here, go to body tuning. Do we have anything in the body tuning? Uh, apparently not. Doesn't appear so. Uh, It doesn't appear so. So we are just going to have to go with typical body parts. Um, unfortunately. So let's go with the Atom 330. Uh, we're going to get all these body parts because we don't know what we have here. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. Tail lights are really cool on this. I like how the tail lights wrap around like that. Um, yeah, nothing special about the build on this actually I've put all the performance pieces I possibly can on this um, that's going to be a thing really don't like the front end on these things I don't like the front end on most electrical vehicles uh, you heard me talk about the Fisker one earlier in the, in the video um, I've got yeah I've got more stuff here Engine cover goes right there. Okay. Uh, what else do I have in my inventory? Oh, that's not my inventory. Duh. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Okay, we are running on 20s. Uh, I think we're running on a square setup. 235, 35, 20s. So, I'm going to take a look at it, and I'll come back in a few minutes, and I'll let you know what I come up with. And hopefully... These wheels look a little bit better than what we took off it, all right? So give me a few minutes, and um, uh, I'll come up with something, all right? Be back in a few.
All right, so in hopes of bringing like the old to the new, right? So this would be a new car being electric. So what I ended up deciding to do is to probably do like an older style wheel. So what I ended up doing was like these old Corvette wheels. They almost like they look kind of futuristic in a way, but they're like the old style Corvette wheels, right? So it kind of looks like, you know, something that you would probably find on an, on a, um, on a Tesla type vehicle. I think that I thought they kind of look cool. I tested them out. Kind of looks really cool on her. Um, considering it's just a, it, it's, it is an electric vehicle. Um, I think it looks actually kind of cool. I kept it with a bright chrome trim on it. We have everything else set up on it, so we should be pretty much good to go without the, well, with the exception of the license plate. Look that up. Do a quick look on this. 100% all the way around except for the body. Uh, let's make sure. Uh, let's go at the end here. Front and rear license plate. I'm not putting a front license plate on it, but I will put a rear license plate on it. I always do with one of my own. Okay, so put that on there. All right. Now, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up taking this thing to the um, test path, and I'll meet you in the... Oh, wait a minute. I need to do something here. Oh, how do I... Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is, this, will, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's put fluids in it. Okay, so we've got brake fluid, coolant, wiper fluid. I don't think we have to deal with any oil. Uh, it makes kind of makes a little bit of sense, right? Um, so we should have coolant, brake, wiper fluid. I don't see any place else for engine oil, but um, I guess we'll see when we get over to uh, the dyno, right? <laughs> I'm just curious to see what this thing dynos at. I really am. We do have a stage three chip that um, we're going to have to uh, tune. But other than that, uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, I'm going to run this over to the test path and I will be back in a few minutes, all right? All right, I'll see you over in the dyno. All right, as far as the paint is concerned, I was thinking typically a nice white. Um, but not just a white, but like a pearl, a pearl white. Silver would look pretty cool as well. But it kind of clashes with the rims a little bit. Right, if I took down a notch, darkened it up a little bit, maybe that wouldn't look too bad. Like a dark grayish kind of color. Is there any? No, there is none. Um, yeah, that really doesn't work for what I was thinking. Uh, I was also thinking just a pearl white, just a nice clean pearl white chrome we aren't going to go that way um, chameleon i don't see any color that's kind of uh reflecting off that for the chameleon look um that's okay so i think we're going to go with the pearlescent look uh we can take a look at some other colors um so if we went with a yellow that's not too bad it's kind of like really it's kind of like Actually, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Uh, if we went with a blue, we could go with a dark blue. Electric blue. I'm liking that as much as I do the yellow. Yikes. I didn't think I was going to go with the yellow. But I am going to tint the windows. Um... See if can we tone that down a little bit. Well, we could do like the butternut yellow look, right? Go with fifty percent. That's like the butternut yellow. I'm always doing the old butternut yellow thing. No, I don't think so. I think yellow. In itself, it looks really cool, but I think I really just want to go with a a white, a pearl white. I think that's just it's very clean, it's very nice looking, um, 
And considering the wheels on it, I think it makes a statement. Uh, making it yellow looks at make it like it looks like too much of like a sports car. This is like the electric thing, right? So we're going to just kind of keep with that that theme. All right, we're going to move her over into uh, the dino room, and let's see if we can do a run on it. Well, we are going to do a quick uh, tune on it with the chip. Yikes. Uh, so these are always so much fun. Let's start this off at a minus two. Maybe I can adjust these as it goes. Uh-oh. Right there it is. Yes. Apply 16% tunage. Wow. Ah. It made me dizzy just thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, we can run it. All right. So factory power is 326. With all the stuff we put on it, let's see what we can get out of it. Love the nice smooth sound. Oh my, look at that. We've more than doubled our horsepower. Uh, we're running at a drag rating of 419. It's a, it's a lower 4, it's a lower 8. But that's okay. Uh, for a wheel drive, uh, all electric vehicle. I think that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we're going to run this back over to the car lifter real quick. We're going to tint the windows up a little bit because I want, I want some maximum tintage. Um, we are going to go, we're going to do all the windows. We're going to use black and we're just going to paint them up 70%. Yeah, that's cool. All right, now we're going to send her right outside the door here and take a look at it. Now, it is up to you guys to tell me what do you think? Do I save it or do I sell it? Very first, very first. All electric car that I've built, kind of crazy, right? Take a look at the engine in here. Let's go ahead and remove. Uh, 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 so that's my engine right there. You know, I could have probably went in and painted these pieces black, but I think it looks pretty cool the way it is. All electric. Got all the tuning pieces that we could get in there. And uh, yeah, we've more than doubled our horsepower. So if we sat inside here, take a look at it. It gives us a nice display. We gave it a custom steering wheel. And uh, yeah, man. Um, like I said, first electric car ever, ever, ever. This is it's seriously, I haven't even built one on my off time. So this one is my first one. You guys get to experience it. That's awesome. So anyway, do I save it or do I sell it? It is all up to you. Let me know if you like the, if you like the video, please hit that like button down below. Uh, share the videos as much as possible. Share them across the internet. I love it. Until the next time. I'll push your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Save it or sell it. Talk to you later. This is Hersquazer saying goodnight, and I am out.